So, what's popping? Was that episode everything that you thought it would be? Did it live up to the uh, your expectations as a season premiere? You got two hours. That's good. Yeah, I thought it was pretty dope. It was tense as hell. Um, um, let me think. What are some highlights? I think the biggest highlight... I took some notes. Hold on, I got some notes. Hold on, hold on. I think the biggest takeaway from that is the the escalation of um Kim shadow side basically the monster that Saul created you know what I'm saying like the the kettlemans what's up the kettlemans just when you thought you'll never see them again that that was crazy to bring them back wasn't it the kettlemans they got a uh, <laughs> do, do they own that place uh the, the, the check cashing that that was crazy and the symbolism of the of the Statue of Liberty and all that and the, I guess something about the liberty being taken from them but I kind of looked at it as like the thing was kind of um you know slumped over a little bit which was kind of like a, a, a um, symbolism for like the activities they all were engaged in kind of crooked you know what I'm saying that's what I took away from it but I'm pretty sure there's other deeper more philosophical uh uh, 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 symbolism for that but um so that was kind of cool the whole thing with Lalo the teeth the dentist I didn't know where I was going but I, I see now uh, did he kill the woman I'm not sure um, but um, that and um, what else uh, uh, oh the whole nacho thing that was, that was dope that was crazy I don't know how that was crazy like I said, I don't know if Nacho is is going to make it out of all this, you know, because obviously he's not in, um, you know, Breaking Bad. So not really sure. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, the safe, the safe thing um, with Mike leaving the, you know, number and, and all that sort of thing. I think he did that against his better judgment. Uh, so to speak. So yeah, I think everything was good there. Did you see Saul at the end? And he was like, "Oh man, what the fuck?" <laughs> Excuse my language. Like, oh man, what's going on here? She just, she just she took that stick. She said, "Forget about that carrot. I'm using stick." You know what I'm saying? And the old kettlemans. Um, what else? Yeah. So that was that was good. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um. Yeah, I'm ready for the. I'm ready for it. Uh, I'm ready for this to, to to see how all this gets resolved. You see his house, in the and you see his house. And the reason I keep saying she's gonna be unalive by the end of this series is because that little thingy she had that you saw it how it was like out in the I don't know it was out in the gutter street. Did it have blood on it? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just I'm reading too much into it. But um, that's definitely was something that. We need to look further into, but um, yeah. So everything I think is right on track. We better call Saul. It wasn't a disappointment, you know. There's probably gonna be some ups and downs throughout the season, um, you know, because remember they're trying to match it into another program. So some things are probably just, you know, you're gonna be like, no, that didn't make sense. But you know, because you're like you said, they're not starting from scratch. They're, they're working their way into something else. Would so have to kind of fit like a jigsaw. But uh, overall, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was dope. Um, I like how they left right off where they ended two years ago. Um, so yeah, it was it was good. What did, what's your feedback? Uh, like I said, I, I have a couple questions. Some things I didn't understand, but I, I kind of mentioned them a little bit here and there. But um, what's your feedback? What do you, what do you, what do you think? Um, did you see the preview for next? Uh, next uh, week so yeah thank you for watching okay